Welcome to this RMS video where we'll be showing you how to calibrate your measurement points. So the first step would be you to go to Tools and Calibrate. So here we have two measurement points in the system, one for temperature and one for relative humidity. If we calibrate now the temperature, we have the possibility to input the tolerance. So based upon your uh, SOPs, you can um, add your tolerance. So let's say here 0.5. And this can, value can be either an absolute value or a percentage value. We then add a reference. So the reference is, let's say, a PT100 with an SCS calibration. And this SCS calibration uh, has the number 0034. And we can say the environment. And the environment that generates the temperature is the hydrogen, so the rotronic portable relative humidity and temperature generator. Thank you, Up Apple, for correcting that for me. H Y G R O G E N. Let's move that. So we have the current value that is measured uh, by that measurement point, so 23.67 degrees. I could put in here my reference value. So the reference value, so if I was to put the probe into a hydrogen, the reference value on the hydrogen could indicate, for example, 25 degrees. We have a difference of minus 1,33, and this is then outside of the tolerance that we specified here at the top. If we update our tolerance to 1.5 plus 1.5 and minus 1.5, we will see straight away that the result is okay. What we can then do is we can simply Calibrate. The system will ask us uh, if it's an input calibration or an output calibration, and we can add comments. So here is a comment. We can do a test calibration, and this is an input calibration. We then click on OK, and we see here directly that we've done an input calibration on the device, and the results are OK. If we were to reduce again our values, our tolerance to 0 0.5 instead of 1.5, and also carry out a calibration, we would see here that we are outside of tolerance. We can add our comment. This is as well an input calibration. And we see here as well, during the calibration, if the results are good or bad. From there, we can generate a report by clicking on the button. We want to generate a report of all calibrations or only selected calibrations. We want to do all calibrations here, so we click on OK. And then we get a calibration protocol report with all of the information that we need. I'll close this report. Now let's say the probe is uh, calibrated and everything went to plan. We simply then add a reminder, add a reminder. And this reminder we would like to have in six months time. So we put in six, we put in months, we click on OK. And that will add a reminder to the system for the 22nd of August, 2018. We also have various options. So we can acquire in sensor. So with the Rotronic devices used with an RMS, you can save the calibration to the sensor in order to carry out an adjustment further down the line. You can see this in another video. Okay, in that case, thank you very much for watching.